Hello, this is Mr. Bus, and I'm gonna walk you through how to set up and run the floating leap disks lab. And so one person in the group to get started efficiently, if you have a group of two, it's helpful if one person uh, takes care of getting a few spinach leaves and getting some of the leap disks created. And so what you're gonna wanna do is uh, get, take the hole punch and then try to punch out spaces between the veins of the leaf. Try not to punch holes from the veins. So I punched uh, a bunch of holes out of the leaves and these little leaf discs and I'm going to try to sort these into uh, groups of 10. Okay, so here I have uh, four groups of 10 and I just kind of took some of the ones that weren't very well punched or whatever, as some extras off to the side in case I need them later. So one person in the group, try to get four uh, piles of about 10 or so. The other person in the group, prepare the bicarbonate water solution. So take a larger beaker, this is a, a 600 mil beaker, it, you know, 400 or 600 works, uh, and then fill it up to a total of 300 mils, 300. And then, uh, then I'm gonna add three grams of baking soda, so sodium bicarbonate. And then mix that up. And then it can be helpful to add one drop of detergent. That's plenty. Okay, so the baking soda is going to be a source of carbon dioxide, actually. The baking soda, the sodium bicarbonate is going to dissolve in there. And so that, you know, obviously in photosynthesis, the uh, plant cells need uh, to start with carbon dioxide, combine with water and light energy to yield uh, energy molecule like glucose and releases oxygen. The detergent just allows these to sink. Sometimes they want to stick to the surface of the water and the detergent is going to prevent that from happening. So once this is all set, you've got your bicarbonate water, you've got your piles of leaf discs. Take a syringe, remove the plunger, and load uh, a pile of 10 discs into the plunger. Into the syringe, I mean. Okay. Put the plunger back in. Don't crush them. Just push it down most of the way. Pull up some of your bicarbonate water. Now I'm going to get all the air out. I filled it up about halfway. I'm going to put my thumb on the end and I'm going to pull back on the plunger, shake. That's going to remove the air from inside and I'm going to push up. And you can see some of the leaf discs are floating and some are sunk. So I'm going to repeat that process. Cap it with the thumb. Pull back on the plunger, shake, then push up on the plunger. And they are all sunk. So here I have 10 leaf discs. Put them in one of the small plastic cups. So I'm going to add 10 more to my plunger, or to my syringe. Put the plunger back on, pull up some more bicarbonate water.
Okay, so I have about 20 leaf discs in each. I'm going to double check that they're all sunk to the bottom. I can count up exactly how many I have in each if I don't have exactly 20. I'm going to top each of the containers off a little bit with the rest of my uh, carbon dioxide water. So here's my setup. I should have equal numbers of leaf discs in each. Should be 20. They should be sunk in the bottom and not and not floating at the top to start. So they should all be at the bottom. If any are floating to start the experiment, remove them. And then I'm going to put one of these under a light condition and one of them under a dark condition. So here I have 20 of the leaf discs sunk and in the light condition. And then I just put the other 20 in a lab drawer. That'll be the dark environment. And so over the next uh, 15 minutes, I'm going to record how many uh, float. Every minute, I'm going to check and see how many have started to float. So you can see that over time, I'm a couple minutes into this, here's the first leaf chad that's starting to float to the surface. And again, at each minute, I'm going to just check and see how many of them are actually floating. And here comes the second one. So remember, you're checking the ones that are in the light, also the ones that are in the dark. So you might ask yourself, why do they start to float? And remember that photosynthesis uh, is going to be releasing oxygen. And so you can kind of see oxygen bubbles starting to form on the leaf disks. And so that's why they're floating, because they're releasing oxygen gas. And that's causing them to float. So after 15 minutes, it looks like all of the leaf disks in the light um, we're floating. There aren't any on the bottom anymore. Might look like there are, but there aren't. It's just a weird reflection. And then in the dark, I didn't have any of them that actually ended up floating. They all stayed on the bottom.